Hello, welcome back to my series of tutorials on civil drafting. In the last video, we have seen the procedure to create a site plan and the layout of the outer wall. If you haven't seen my last video on this series, please click on the link provided at the upper right corner of this video. Now let's come back to this outer wall. Now these are all segmental lines, so I have to join these lines to make a single profile. So I'll click on the join command or else you can type the letter J then I'll select these objects to be joined as a single unit. Next I'll go to offset command then I'll give an offset distance of 24 cm as a wall thickness. Then I'll select the object to offset and the site to offset. Now I've created the wall. Next I have to create this partition wall and you know that this particular wall is at a horizontal distance of 400 cm from this particular edge. So I should create a line at a distance of 400 cm from this edge. This can be easily done by activating the extension snap. So just go to O snap button, then right click and see whether the extension option is active. So you should activate this if it is not active. Extension snap will let you locate a point at a specific distance from a reference point. In this case, from this reference point, I want to locate a point at a distance of 400 units rightward. So let's see how to do that. So I'll click on the line command, then I'll hover the cursor over this intersection. But you should not click there. Now move the mouse rightward, then you will see the distance and angle. Now angle is 0 degrees because you are moving rightward, which is the positive x-axis direction. Next I should give the distance. The distance is 400. So I'll type 400 and enter. And this is a precise point at a distance of 400 units rightward with respect to this reference point. Next, I'll draw a perpendicular straight down, which will meet with the bottom wall. So I'll hold down the shift key and press the right button of the mouse to get the O-snap menu. This is another method to access the O-snap menu. Next, I'll take perpendicular from here and click a point here. Now this is a perfect perpendicular. Next, I'll give an offset. So offset the same wall thickness of 24, select object and side. So we have completed this vertical wall. Next, I'll create this horizontal partition wall. And you know that this wall is at a vertical distance of 180 units from this edge. When the dimension is written as 260 by 180, it means the horizontal dimension is 260 and the vertical dimension is 180. Now let's create a line at a distance of 180 units. So I'll click on line command and I'll use the same extension snap. I'll use this as a reference point, keep the cursor straight down and you type the distance of 180. Okay, this is the line. Now shift right click and choose perpendicular and click this point. Next, you can go to the offset command. Just give an enter because I need the same offset distance. Select object to offset and side to offset. So the horizontal wall is created. Next, we have to create this vertical partition wall. You know that it is at a distance of 260 units from this edge. So I'll again use the line command then I'll activate this as a reference point, keep the cursor in the rightward direction and type 260. Then shift right click, draw a perpendicular straight down, then I'll keep offset, same offset distance, select object to offset and side to offset. Now we have created all the necessary walls. Next we have to create cutouts to accommodate the doors. At some locations, I'll use trim command at some other locations, I'll use grip editing to create the cutouts. Let's start with the front door. So in order to create this, I'll use the trim command. So I'll draw a line from this end point straight down. Okay, then I'll give offset command and I'll give an offset distance of 100 because 100 centimeter or 1 meter is the width of the front door. Next, these lines are to be removed to create the cutout, which can be done using the trim command but we'll be performing a collective trim at the end. Next, we will create the door for the kitchen, which is 75 cm wide. So I'll start with the line command from this end point. So click this end point. Now you just keep the cursor here to get an extension, which will meet with this point. Now I'll give an offset command to offset this vertical line 75 units rightward. So 75 is already there. So you can just give an enter, select object to offset and side to offset. Next, we have to create a cutout over here. For that, I'll select these two lines. So you have got the grip points here. 
Now just click to activate this grip as a hot grip. Keep the cursor in the leftward direction and type the distance of 75. Now activate this grip as well. Now keep the cursor in the leftward direction. Now extension snap is again in action. Give a distance of 75. Next you can connect these two endpoints using a straight line. So hence this cutout is created using grip editing. Now one more D2 is to be created. For that I'll draw a line here. You can draw an extension onto this point. Now again offset. Now give an offset distance of 75 which is already there. Select object to offset and side to offset. Now we have created all the necessary lines. Next we have to perform trimming. So I'll click on the trim command. When you're asked to select the cutting edges, just give an enter. Now using a crossing window, that means you can just click a point over here and move the mouse leftward to get this green dotted rectangle, which is a crossing window. Again, another crossing window to select these objects to trim. Now even you have to perform some clearances at these corners, which is again done using the same trim command. Now one more trimming at this corner to complete this wall layout. So this is how you create a wall layout as well as incorporate the cutouts to accommodate those. In the next video, we will create steps. But before we create steps, we will see the theory behind creating steps in a civil plan. Until I catch you in the next video, bye for now and thanks for your time. And please hit the like button of this video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel Sabir CAD where CAD learning is made easy.